First of all, we'll move on to the confidential mode of sending an email. What does that mean? Uh, first, we'll go to compose, click on compose, and in here, you send an email to tigesschooling at gmail.com and you write anything you want to say, good, whatever you want to write. And in here, you can see an option called turn confidential mode on or off. As you click on it, uh, you will see the confidential mode. In here, you can select the expiry date of this email. Uh, that one means uh, this, uh, this confident, this email will be deleted after a certain period of time and for example you go it for expires in one day two day one week one month three years uh, i'll keep it for one month and in here uh, you can say send them no sms passcode uh, which means uh, there will be no uh, passcode that won't be sent through the sms to them or uh, there will be sms passcode which means when you send them an email uh, they have to verify through their uh, they will receive uh, the password on their phone number and that way it will be easy for them to you know uh, kind of uh, get access to the uh, email so you can you're going to click the save button then that way this uh, this uh, what, what I can say email is uh, you know password based as you send them you send them it will go to them and in here you write a phone number uh, a phone number is required so recipient can verify their identity using an sms passcode which means you will be sending uh, you will be writing the phone number of that person uh, who ha who is using a certain phone number so when you write their number whenever they receive that email they uh, they will write their phone number and that that way they will receive a code and they are going to put that code in that into that email and then they are going to access that email so this is a wonderful option for a lot of people and this uh, this setting can also help you uh, because the, the recipient won't have the options to forward copy print or download this email so this is also a great feature that is in the gmail you might have never seen so we click on send and that way we're going to send it